Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, let's talk about the Teleport Me. Teleport Me is just not only a virtual tour edit sharing platform, but it is also a great 360 community that across from the PC and Mac to the iOS and Android. Want to know more about it? Let's get started. My name is Yuqing Guo. I love 360 photography a lot. And on my channel, you can learn a lot about 360 photography and master the one shot 360 camera like never before. So now follow me. I'm going to teleport you to teleport me and introduce you to all the greatest features about this platform. So the teleport me consists of two words, teleport and me. Uh, it's just like to transport you into another place with virtual tours or with 360 panoramas and let's take a look at the website this virtual tour platform and let's see what's inside this website and let's see what's inside this platform here i have login as my name and i have a business account so i have show you the full feature of this website and you can create and share 360 photo and virtual tours trusted by 15 million creators thousands of business you can visit your dashboard and can see all the panoramas and virtual tours you have created by yourself it consists of two parts virtual tours and get inspired not only can configure your own virtual tours but you can also see the others excellent virtual tour generated by the other talented photographers and here this is the main feature of the teleport me a delightfully simple virtual tour creators it's very simple to use the loading speed is really fast it can put 360 virtual tour creation in the hand of every agent and business you can add virtual tours at your own branding and you can have a premium support no hidden costs, unlimited upload, and some customized event in your virtual tour. And you can join with millions of 360 virtual tour creators. Uh, you can find some others, uh, find many excellent uh, photographers in the world. And you can also download the app. You can find it on the App Store or the Google Play. And this app is uh, also a very interesting app. I will show you later on. And here is an example of the uh, teleport me the p360 virtual tours and you can see you can see a single 360 uh, that is a single image uh, you can embed this this word to your website to customize your settings uh, in your website uh, turn on its width and height and uh, you can also add your logo add your custom logo or add the default logo and you can also change the position of the logo top left uh, bottom left, bottom right, and you can also change the logo size. You can zoom in, zoom out, and you can also uh, set the auto rotation speed. And you can also show the full screen button, as you can find here. Because when you uh, have a full screen, you're going to have a better interactive experience with the very fast loading speed. I have to say that the Teleport Me has a really fast loading speed compared with others the virtual tour platform. And also trans, uh, correct the local transparency. And for the virtual tour, there are even more features in the virtual tour capability. You can also add the names and also change logo and the view mode is, or you can find the listing on the right, or it's a uh, work through some thumbnails on the bottom. More information about its creators and more business information. And uh, for others, it's the same. And you can also add some hotspot, uh, the description text, uh, some uh, videos and you can embed lots more interesting stuff in your panorama and let's try the loading speed you can see that it's really really fast now I'm going to my dashboard and try to show you the uploading process of teleport me for me the uploading experience is just great uh, you can see you can see the full image of every one of image on the uploading list and for a free user you can upload uh, the panorama you can upload no more than 10 per time and for the free user you can upload up to 10 panorama by one upload but you can add more by later on uh, and for a business user, you can upload with unlimited panorama. And for a single image, the free user could only upload a panorama that could not exceed 26 megabytes. And for a business user, the upper limit will be 100 megabytes. So the uploading speed is really fast. And you can see once the image has been fully uploaded, it will disappear in the uploading list. And the rest of the image will move up and... Uh, let just let you feel the exactly uploading percent and every one of the image that has been uploaded will be displayed as thumbnail in the bottom now let me show you the basic operation in the dashboard for the 
uploaded panoramas. As you can drag and drop to change the order of your panorama list. And you can hold your mouse on the thumbnail. The panorama will rotate from left to right to let you see the overall of the image in your panorama. And you can also click on the, the buttons and change the name, add some description, and also add some geotagging on the later on the Google map. And click on submit when you're done and uh, you are good to go to make virtual tours. Okay, so this is a basic operation in the dashboard. You can get an overview of the panorama list with thumbnail preview. So the user experience is very interesting. Go back to a tour because I have already created the tours uh, with myself. And uh, let's go to the edit, go to the edit menu and see, uh, take a look at the tours in our website. You can add, you can change the name of the tour, you can change the description, you can go to the public, private, or unlisted. So now I'm going to post press this virtual tours and I'm going to show you some great features in the virtual tour. Here you can see that it is all the panoramas I've taken uh, in the Surin Island of Thailand and uh, this is about the beautiful beach, and the sunrise, and beautiful water, and the trees the leaves. I uh, just enjoy myself on the travel and I would like to share my travel experience in the form of virtual tour with you on the Teleport Me. You can uh, upload more panoramas to this virtual tour or you can create folder or you can reorder. So reorder is very interesting. You can just uh, click on reorder and drag and drop so you can change the order of every one of your panorama. So this is very intuitive. You'd better have a fixed order before you dive deep into every one of the settings in your virtual tour because the order in the virtual tour is very important for your audience. And after that, you can save order. And uh, next, let's go to the edit and we can edit a hotspot, the link, everything else in this edit menu in the teleport me. Okay, now you can see that on the right, we have hotspot, the panorama and tour options. Uh, here I have already set the, some hotspot, uh, go to the beach. And uh, this is the initial position of, you can take a look at that. This is the initial position of this panorama, which means that your viewer will see this initial view by the first sight when you're loading this panorama in Teleport Me. And on the top, you can see the name of the panorama. Here you can see that it's a very beautiful beach. You can also get to see what I was feeling in that day in Surin Island. If you want the viewer to have a, a very good overview of your virtual tour, I prefer to set to 120 degrees and apply all to these tours. So every time the viewer will open this image, we have a default field of view of 120 degrees. Description, I can see that. So you can contact me for more great tours. And you can save and you can see now this line has appeared on the second line as this is your information. And uh, how to set the initial information? You can set this one and uh, when, you, when you rotate, if you like this is your best initial point, you can set the initial position and there is, there is arrow locked in that will give you an impression that this angle is your initial review. And if it if your panorama is not horizontally, it's not horizontally correct, you can click on horizontal correction and you can fine tune your horizontal line on the go with two sliders. This is a very interesting part of this virtual tour panel, right? And can, after that, you can click on save and you, so you don't have to uh, auto level with your one shot 360 or your 360 cameras. You can uh, level them in post in the edit panel of the teleport me. Okay. And you can also add some hotspot uh, such as this one. I have already added to go to the beach and I can add more hotspot to this part. And you can also set the options of the hotspot. You can change the style, it's panel or it's an audio. You can also add some sound of the seawater uh, down in this part. And you can also change the hotspot to um, image to add a link or add YouTube. So for me, I have my YouTube channel, so I can type in my YouTube channel. Yeah. And go to my channel. Nope. My channel. Okay. 
So this is how it looks like in your shot. You can add as many as you want. And for the other part, you can also change the font of your channel, the style. For the sound, you can also add sound for the panorama. Uh, you can choose your own audios or you can have some audio library in the future update of Teleport Me. Click on the thumbnail to go to the next, go to the next panorama. And this panorama, we can also do the same by adding hotspot, uh, choose the initial position, set horizontal correction, add more sound. I will also set the field of view to 120 degrees for give the viewer the best overall preview of this image. And then we can do the same to the other part of this image and uh, you are good to go. So this is how you can try to uh, acquire the basic skill on the website of Teleport Me. And after that, you can click on preview. You can see the result when other people will see this virtual tour on their desktop or on their app. For Teleport Me, it's a whole system of a virtual tour service. Here you can see some more information, tour created by myself. And you can, this is a full screen or a not full screen, right? Okay, so go back to the Teleport Me platform. Uh, we can do the same to the other platform and link them together with different hotspot. So now you are good to go. And after all of that, click on save and uh, you can share with your friends uh, in different platforms. You can also embed this virtual tour in your own website. But now I don't have my own website. So yeah, I can only share with you my uh, link. So you can embed the code in your website. You have a Squarespace or some other WordPress based website. You can just copy and paste this iframe code. So you can get uh, embedded in the virtual tour in your website. And for me, I don't have a, a Facebook or YouTube. So I can share the Teleport Me website, to this link directly to my friends, and copy and paste and add in the video description. And you can see the virtual tour by yourself. And for the social, you can also uh, share to the Facebook, share to Twitter, and share to the Reddit. And all this platform will have a very beautiful preview image of your virtual tour link. Here we can also uh, set to the share option, the width and the heights, the logo, the logo position, view mode. It's uh, going to work through all the listing. So I prefer to work through because that will give you more uh, field of view by the first sight. Uh, yeah, I can also show some some more options and click on save. Once you copy and paste, you can share with your friends. And this is your final virtual tour. Now I'm gonna grab my Android phone and share with you some of the greatest features right inside the app. The name of the app is P360. So it's not Teleport Me, but it's P360. It is a whole community for our virtual tour photographers. Uh, we have new galleries, 360 video, popular and feature. In the popular, you can see many of the world's greatest virtual tours generated by the excellent photographer all around the world. So you can definitely improve yourself really fast in this page. And on the features menu, we can see some ed editor pick uh, virtual tours which are, which are excellent. And you can also e explore nearby excellent features like this or you can have some recent and you can nearby and by distance and you can also explore some features video for me there are more attractive features right inside this capture menu for the capture menu you can see that you can create your own 360 panorama just like the photo scenes of the microsoft and you can also enable the hd capture but it is a, a paid feature you have to uh, pay for that feature and after that you can capture high quality panorama directly with your phone and here are some advanced features such as the flash you can open the flash so every shot will be taken with a flash a flashlight there is a explorer lock it's a white balance lock and it's a full menu control so you can control every parameters in every one of your image during a 360 shot. More about that, you can also have access to connect to your 360 devices. You can see that there are many of the uh, OneShot 360 camera around the world. And you can uh, Wi-Fi connect with your, with your OneShot 360 camera and now you can control directly in the P360 app. After you have captured with your phone about 360 shot, you can stitch later in your uh, menu like this. And in the gallery tab, we can see some panoramas capture directly with online stage. You can also enable the unstitch feature, which you can take 10 times more panorama while saving 
95% the battery using stitch later. So you can capture all around the shot stitch later in the app at backstage. Okay, so that's all about this app and this part, this you can connect with your teleport me. For me, I have, uh, I have already uploaded 18 panoramas. I have one collection, three places, uh, different point of view, right? You can have uh, collections and in the collection tab, they're gonna go take you to the virtual tours you have just created. Here you can see my Surin Island tour and go to that, you can uh, edit directly on your phone and you can preview with the VR glass. Here you can see that and uh, you can also edit, edit that. And here you can see a sharing tab so you can share to the more of the with your apps such as uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, any one of the mobile apps you can have more sharing capabilities. And you can also uh, share in view, interactively in this app in a VR glass like this. Okay. So we just give you a preview. And uh, for this one, this is an overview about the P360 app and you can co-work with your desktop platform and you can edit and share it on the go. To wrap up, Teleport Me is a very interesting platform to help you create and edit your virtual tour and generate valuable virtual tours to your clients. And you can also join this community and learn from the greatest virtual tour photographers all around the world and learn from the greatest of virtual tours and improve yourself really fast. With a mobile platform, not only you can edit and share your virtual tours, but you can also capture the 360 shot only with your cell phone with some advanced features such as the Explorer lock, white balance lock, and full menu control. More about that, we also have an on-stitch panel. Uh, we can stitch later on your app, have a very interesting tiny little planet editor right inside the P360 app. Teleport Me is just not a virtual tour platform, but it is the whole system about 360 from shooting to post-processing and virtual tour, uh, editing and establishing a whole workflow for virtual tour photographers. I hope you can get an overview about Teleport Me, this interesting platform through this video and go to teleport.me and create your own virtual tours. Try on your own, create value, to your clients. That is all about this video. More to come in the future. Until next time, bye.